It's a pleasure to be here today representing AARP and celebrating with all of you TCI in Rhode Island. You know, when I first came to this building many years ago in a different capacity, I used to wonder why when something was so good would it be so difficult to pass. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder it to this day. And Jan listed all the people that got behind this effort to get this important piece of legislation, which just today was recognized in Governing Magazine. So as our um, leaders say many times, AARP is out in front on so many good things, and it's nice to be here in the company of Secretary of State Nellie Corbett, <laughs> Treasurer of Magazine, and uh, Senate President Teresa Piper Weed, as well as the senators and reps who band together to finally get the good things done. I'm not going to go on and on. Caregivers are very important to AARP. We have reams of research to tell you the value of the services they provide in dollars. But I want to tell you, you cannot calculate the incalculable. And it is the nature of caregiving that there's no way you can put a price on it. You just have to know it's there. You have to appreciate it, you have to treasure it, and you have to help it thrive. Caregivers come in all shapes and sizes, genders, colors, um, whatever, and in configurations so diverse it's hard to believe. But they are there day after day after day, and if they were not, all of the things that make life worth living would come to a screeching halt for huge numbers of our population. So recognizing all that, it's not too much to ask that they be able to take some time to ease some of the burden of time and the complexities of accessing the healthcare system to benefit those for whom they care. Um, and that is what this act can help to do. It was a mighty effort, and the results portend to be as important as the effort. Thank you very much.